everyone, it's Em. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been well since last time we spoke and I want to say a really big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. So today's video is a what a teacher wears in a week. When I became a teacher about four years ago, I remember looking at these videos to try and get some inspiration because to be honest, I had no idea what to wear, like what was acceptable and what wasn't. I am a high school teacher in Queensland, in Australia, where it's really hot, and I teach dance and drama. Every day when I go to pick out my outfit, the struggle is real. I'm trying to find something that's conservative, comfortable, breathable, supportive, professional looking, active wear. So I don't know if I really if I really meet the mark. I'd love to hear your comments below But this is what I wore this week and if you're interested then keep watching All right now to get onto the clothes. So we're gonna start with Monday Monday I don't know if I'm alone with Mondays But Mondays are one of my favorite days of the week because it's sort of like a nice refresh fresh start and Kind of getting back on track back into routine First up, I have this little red top, and this is one of the new things I bought. I just bought this for the new school year, and I got this maybe like a week or two ago, and it's by this little brand, um, I think it's a Byron Bay brand, called Rove, and I got a size medium in this one, and it's just a little linen button-up shirt, and it's kind of cropped, like it's not hip length, it's more like it crops at the waist, and to pair with that, I've got my all-time favorite jeans. These jeans I got like two or three years ago off Depop. If you're not familiar with Depop, it's like a secondhand clothing app um, and it's amazing. I'm pretty sure I got these jeans for $10 and they're the only jeans I've ever worn that I like and they're squat proof, high kick proof. I can do splits in these um, and it's because they're kind of roomy. Um, they're really thick, strong material and I think some schools you're not actually allowed to wear jeans to school, but at my school you are as long as they don't have rips and these are absolutely perfect. Now for Tuesday. Um, Tuesday I get straight back into it, way more active wear, and it wouldn't be, this video could not survive without Lorna Jane, because most of my school clothes are from Lorna Jane. It's just really high quality active wear, and some of the pieces um, I have, I have had for years and years. So the first piece are these beautiful purple tights, and these ones are new, they're full length, um, I bought them only recently, and I don't know if Lorna Jane's changed their material, but these are way softer than any of the other ones I have. And I think the sort of mauvey colour is really beautiful. And to pair with that, this is just an absolute staple outfit um, that I would wear all the time. The kids probably think this is my uniform, a pair of Lorna Jane tights and a baggy short dress. So this is the little dress. I actually don't know even where I got it from. This is the brand if you are interested and it's a size 10 um, and it's just baggy, loose and it looks lovely. Now on to Wednesday. Happy hump day everybody. <laughs> okay, this outfit is really similar to the last one because it is a staple. Um, we have just a plain black pair of Lorna Jane tights and these ones have definitely been worn. They've gone through the wash a lot. That's why they've sort of got a lot of fluff on them. Um, these ones are my all-time favorite though because they have pockets um, because I'm always teaching dance I always have my phone in my pocket to play music um, And my phone lives in there and then on the other side it has a little zippered pocket um, So they're super handy and then on top I have <laughs> What my husband calls my sweet potato dress <laughs> Because of the color I think um, so this dress is super comfy, flowy, and I really like the lightweight material. This one I have had for a little while now, and it's by the brand Opia. I don't know if you can see that, but it's by the brand Opia, and I bought a size large. Um, and I have been trying, I've been making a more conscious effort to buy from labels that are more, um, that have stronger ethics and uh, sustainable goals. Um, so this brand uses all sustainable materials, similarly to the other brand, uh, Rove. They love to use linens and um, fibers like that. And they have stronger policies about, you know, paying their workers fair wages and things like that. So that's super important. So I've been trying to buy a few things like that. 
And now we're on to Theory Thursday. This is the one day of the week that I don't have to wear activewear normally. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. So theory is, you know, more like book work and like sitting in a classroom type lessons. So I try to always make sure that lines up with all my classes on Thursdays so I can wear like a dress or a skirt or something like that. And this is one of my all time favorite dresses that I own. The pattern is absolutely so quirky and cute. It's just tons of little symbols all over it. And it wasn't until today that I realized I love this dress so much and I should really wear it way more. So this is um, a dress by Gorman, which is an Australian label and I have a size eight. Um, but Gorman is quite an expensive brand but I got this off like a Facebook marketplace, buy, swap, sell, Gorman page type thing. So it's a second hander, which is awesome. Saving the planet with my second hand dress. <laughs> so um, I encourage you to check out those second hand pages if you do really like some brands, because I have bought tons of Arnhem clothes, particularly second hand, um, and you can get them for a fraction of the price and it's sort of reusing something that someone else doesn't want anymore. So I encourage you to check those out. Now this dress is so beautiful, so comfortable, so lightweight, but it is not squat proof or high kick proof. <laughs> On Friday with my classes, I do fitness Friday. So most of my classes will do a big workout with me. We usually start with a run and then we do like a little circuit training just to keep all their fitness, stamina, flexibility, all of that up. And so this is the same top as the one that I wore on Monday. It's just that little um, cropped uh, button up linen shirt. So I bought the red one and I loved it so much that I bought it in two more colors. I got it in white and this really nice mustardy kind of color. Um, and so to pair with that, I've got my absolute staple go-to Lorna Jane pants. Um, these are just, I'm pretty sure they have had these pants for years in store um, because I remember my dance teachers when I was a kid wearing these pants and that is everything that this teacher wore this week. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfit was and I will be uploading plenty more teacher related content in the future so please subscribe if you're interested and I really hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!